Hello? Is anybody out there? My thing didn't make a noise, but it says live, so I'll assume <laughs> I'll assume that I am live. Good morning! It's so good to be back! Yay! Oh my gosh, I I'm so so glad to be back because last week not getting to do this I did not like that um, but I knew that if I was going to get the Emily Awards done <laughs> I had to take the time so um, but anyway it's good to be here I'm gonna tweet out my links right now and Facebook them out for anybody who doesn't know where we are and we're, the tweet chat is up and running I see Mariah's on there and XG Designs and Jeline is on there. Awesome. Awesome possum. Okay, now I'm going to open up a link for myself. See if I can copy and paste something here. Um, but, man, I just feel like I am uploading constantly. Like, with... This is the first year that I've done... You know, I've had this Express channel, right? So that's a daily video. And then also doing the Emily Awards and just kind of trying to stay on top of everything is hard. <laughs> I have been, like, these past two weeks, I feel like I'm in a constant state of shoot, edit, upload. Shoot, edit, upload. Like, you probably don't, don't care, <laughs> but you don't need to hear my... Uh, stress stories, but yesterday I was uploading the finale. The finale is going to be like 25 minutes long. Um, not so much due to uh, extra information, but extra entertainment. There is a halftime show. And anyway, um, a long video, a big HD file, and I knew it was going to take a, a really long time to go up. So I started yesterday morning, and I'm keeping an eye on it, and according to the way everything was going along, it, it should have been up by by about 5 o'clock. The upload should have finished. Um, so I've got it going, and it's four hours in. And I go over, and I just, like, nudge the mouse of the computer because I don't want the computer to fall asleep, and I want every, to just make sure everything's still going right. And then it completely freezes. Little spinny things that are normally spinny stop. And I'm thinking, you have got to be kidding me. I have to restart the computer and I will lose everything. Like, and, and some people have told me now that Google Chrome, I guess if you upload, upload on Google Chrome, you won't lose your progress. Like you can resume it somehow, which would be great because here I lost everything. And so from that point on, I thought, you know, if, if I start again and if this does go up, it would be like the middle of the night and then people might miss it so I'm just gonna hold it over till today so now I know it's up it's scheduled to go up uh, five o'clock tonight and it'll all be good but it, it's just frustrating when you try to plan and you try to you know work it all out um, but that that would be the last of my complaining for today because <laughs> I really enjoy making the videos and it's like I was so excited for you guys to see the finale more than anything um, we tried to take each part of this Emily Awards and make it each one build and be a little bit, I don't know, funnier, better than the last, and the finale is the cat's pajamas, I've got to tell you. Um, so I can, I'm can i looking at your comments now uh, down underneath the video. Hi, Linda. Hi, Natasha. Um, who else did I see down here? Gracie and Sophia is here, and Mariah is on there, and I Heart Coffee and Makeup. Yeah, um, some people haven't been here for in a while. They used to put the comments to the side of live stuff, but now it's they're below. So it's kind of a, a pain to try to see what you're looking at and those, but that's how it is. Hi, Raina! Thank you! Wow, yay! Yeah, so I'm so glad that you're here. Everybody's with us. It says live now, but I don't see anything. Um, maybe refresh. Oh, Melissa's here. Hi, Melissa Price. Welcome. Good to have you here. And Kim Eastwood's here from Ohio. One Beauty Addict is here when it first started. Wet hair and all. <laughs> nice. Nice. Does everybody have some sort of beverage? This is uh, coffee here. And this is actually one of my sister's watercolors. Isn't that cute? Look at that little plump cardinal, female cardinal. Yeah, she uh, gave me this for Christmas. Uh, I love how she's gotten on, like, um, 
cafe press and put her paintings on mugs. So a lot of our mugs just are awesome around here. <laughs> mm. Tyler and the butter gloss. Whose idea was that? Um, that was my idea. <laughs> Pretty much all of this stuff, like, I've brainstormed it and then presented it to him, and I'm like, are you up for this? And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm totally up for it. <laughs> he may have creative control of his tie-day Fridays, but uh, Mama here comes up with the uh, Emily Awards business, so... <laughs> But he, he will put, like, a little spin on it. And the stuff he is doing tonight, I mean, I, the, the butter's nothing. Like, the, I, he will barely do some of the things that he's doing tonight in front of me. But he's doing it for all y'all. So, I mean, I just, I told him, I'm like, you are the man. It's like that song. You're the man, you're the man, you're the man. Um... Been watching the old BB Live this week while I was getting ready. Yay, Stacy! Thank you. Oh, and happy birthday to my mom! It's my mom's birthday today. Happy birthday, Jackie! Um, I, she's not watching right now though. She would be at her friend Francine's at the moment. But um, yeah, it's her birthday. I gave her a call this morning and saying happy birthday to her. Um. I've been telling her about how much I've been enjoying face masks lately, so I uh, sent her uh, some face masks, and um, she's got another little surprise arriving today, so yay. Um, oh, good morning from Egypt. Thank you so much. And Oklahoma, Gabby's here, Elizabeth's here, Allie's here before class. Can anyone see anything yet? Um... Oh, watching from the internship office. Magali. Magali's a good intern. <laughs> uh. Oh. Glow was feeling sick today, so she stayed home, and she's going to watch BB Live. That's awesome. Stay glossy. Yep. A lot of first-timers. And watching in Japan... Oh, Christiane says, or Christiane says, uh, potty training continues today, so send us prayers, good thoughts, vibes, or whatever your thing is. <laughs> um, who decided on Sponge Tip? It's Tyler's name for the Emily Awards. Um, that was me. I was, I thought of it before I went to bed one night. I was thinking, um, well, first off, around Christmas time, me and Tyler and Pup were. Pups, my sister, we were talking about the theme, and I think it was my sister who kind of came up with doing something sports related, and I thought it just fit really well with the Olympics coming up, Super Bowl, um, love the thought of doing like a pregame show, kind of like you see those guys on like Fox Sports, and they're coming in, and they're doing the game breaks and stuff, so, and then I just knew that Tyler needed some sort of alter ego or some. Thing. And so the only name, like the only quirky little makeup name that came to my mind was Sponge Tip. <laughs> um, so that that kind of stuck. And I was like, Tyler, try to come up with something better than Sponge Tip. He's like, I don't think I can. <laughs> so hi, Cassie from Nebraska. Sitting here munching on Thin Mints, the cookies. Oh, I want some. That would, Thin Mints would be so good in my coffee right now. This is... The uh, mint, that white chocolate mint coffee, so good. It would be perfect with a thin mint dipped in it. Snowed in in Atlanta. Oh, my gosh. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're snowed in and not snowed out in your car like the news is talking about still. Um... Oh, Jody says, just left work at the hospital, was snowed in for 36 hours in Alabama. Now home, enjoying Beauty Broadcast Live. Oh, my gosh. Jody, wow, that is crazy. I can't believe you were there for 36 hours. Wow. And Linda did a whole face makeup with Smokey Eye to be ready for BB Live this morning. <laughs> Yay, I appreciate the effort. When are we going to see an Emily Noel makeup line? Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> beats me, but uh, <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, thank you so much. I sharing sharing the Emily Awards. Yorkies and me said she shared the Emily Awards with her girlfriends that aren't even makeup addicts. So that is so sweet. Like that is how that is how everything grows is from people people sharing, you know? So thank you. I can't thank you enough. Um are you still working in broadcasting? No. Um I am not. Oh, they have a thin mint coffee creamer. Rebecca says thin mints give me the worst heartburn in history. <laughs> Yikes. Um, hi from Greece. Hi Greece. Hi Gina. Made it. Christiane. Okay. Awesome. Oh, um, this is on my sister's cafe press shop. So if you go to kellyeddington.com, um, there will be links to her stuff like this. Um, but she's done, she's, she has another one called Wing Nativity, and it's like a, kind of a Christmassy one, and I think there's a cardinal involved in that, too. Yeah, IMAT stuff, IMAT's haul, like, so much stuff has been on hold, it seems like, from, um, from doing the Emily Awards, it's like one chunk of stuff, my blogs all pertain to that, my videos, so, um, yeah, I'll get to some, some IMAT stuff, and some... I mean, I've got haul. I've got stuff to haul that may take me days to tell you about. <laughs> um, uh, lipstick, yeah, I'll do a face of the day. But the lip product today is from Wet n Wild, and it says Vicious Varnish High Shine Lip Stain, and this is from the Fergie collection, and this is the shade Street Queen. <laughs> And it's just kind of a. Sh it's it's really a strange product. Um, it goes on shiny. Like, you feel like you've applied a gloss. It feels a little sticky at first, but then once it sets on your lips, it's actually kind of comfortable. You know? It's not bad at all. And it hasn't even been coming off too much on my cup, which is kind of cool. Um, so I had bought this one because I'm all about the Radiant Orchid. Ooh, ooh, uh, there's going to be a Radiant Orchid uh, Color Lovers video, too. I can't wait. I found so much cool stuff in this color. Um, but... I got this because I wasn't sure. Wet and Wild sometimes, like with Fergie stuff, they don't always send um, the beauty ambassadors samples and stuff. So I went ahead and got this. And then they sent all the other shades. So um, I've been playing with these a lot. Uh, and I'm liking them. I think I've decided that I'm liking them. <laughs> um, I don't know that they are like a super stain, you know, like totally won't come off your lips staining. But... I mean, they're doing pretty well not coming off on my cup right now, and this is like two coats of it. So, anywho, I'll keep trying these. I really want to show you, like, all the colors on my lips sometime. Um, did you see Mally Instagrammed your Emily Award for the Face Defender? Yes! That was so cool! She was really sweet. Uh, last year, she sent me a, a little note in the mail because she had won um, Mally's stuff and won some Emily Awards, and she said, you know, we won this many Emily Awards. I'm really excited. So that was nice of her to recognize little old me for what I did. Um, oh, Taser's here! Oh. Oh, thank you, Nadia. Did you get one of those NYX Cosmetics goodie bags I heard about? OMG, it was huge. Uh, yeah, I heard about them. I didn't go to that NYX event, though, <laughs> after I matched. So I didn't get none of them goodies. But I did buy some NYX stuff at I matched. So I, I have some new stuff, but I don't have, like, you know, every, as Kristen would say, every ding-dang thing. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I, I have some new Nick stuff, but I did not get that that uh, massive goodie bag. Uh, but IMATS was great. I almost forgot, like, I haven't talked to you since then. Um, but it was really cool being out in Los Angeles. That was my first time there. And I decided there are three kinds of palm trees. Skinny, scruffy, and squatty. 
<laughs> I think my favorite are the little squatty ones. But then they've got the scruffy ones that look like they've got a lot of old, like, scruffy stuff up under the pretty leaves. Um, but <laughs> anyways, um, uh, it was a lot of fun. And I was there on Saturday at IMATS, and there was a huge line, like, outside the place to get in. Um, but it moved really fast. And I think lines move faster when you find people in the lines and you start talking to them. And it's like, whoa, I'm here. So I uh, met some really nice folks in the line and just all around IMATS. It was awesome. It was it was really cool. It was it had more of a um, crowded feeling overall than the New York ones did. I thought, um, and I think there was ju it was just the the fact that there was less open space. Like New York had a nice like seating area with some tables, people could grab some food and eat. Here it was like the concession stand was kind of back in an area, not a lot of places to sit down and stuff, so I don't know, it just felt a little more like stuff was everywhere, and then that may have just been the venue, but um, no, it was really cool, and I did find some cool new stuff. Um, when I had the chance at the Knicks uh, booth, because, you know, there are lines for days around the different booths, but... Um, when I saw uh, my opening <laughs> to jump into the Knicks booth and uh, I got in there and I got some cool stuff uh, and then I got just a few other random things but not a, not a ton because I mean gotta, gotta fly home I don't know how people flew home with those Knicks goodie bags <laughs> and I went to the Sigma event also which was after IMATS that night and um, that was fun and I got to just kind of sit down and talk to people more and um, just a little more casual environment, I guess. No, people were dressed up. It wasn't like you know what I mean. <laughs> it was it was just a little more low key, I suppose, than um, being in there at IMATS. So that was cool. And I, I I'm gonna have to. I haven't even looked at the video that Tyler got because he took most of it throughout the IMATS day. So. I will. Um, I, I I know I'll have a haul on my main channel, but I'll uh, see what I can put together f for a vlog too. Um, oh, Linda says the squatty ones are called Sago palms. They cost a lot of money, unlike skinny and scruffy. <laughs> oh, you mean there's something to my theory, Linda? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, OMG, I hear you through my speaker, but they are really old and you sound totally scary. Oh my gosh. It might just be me. It might just be me sounding scary, hun. <laughs> I'm a, I could be a little abrasive with my loud squawks and laughs, so that may be your problem. Um... Me and my girlfriends have a group on Facebook, and we share your video the moment you put it on YouTube, and we make a list of your favorites and buy them. What? Oh, Nermo, can I hug you? You should do a meetup in San Francisco sometime. I'm about two hours from there, says Mariah. You know, that's a place I would really like to visit. I would really love to see that Golden Gate Bridge, and I'd love to, like, see the all that those hilly areas, you know? seems like a really fun place to visit. I think I would go there and feel like I'm somewhere so different from where I live right now. Oh, Taser's tweets were private for a while, but she figured it out. Better late than never. Amen. Yeah, um, so, yeah, in a nutshell, IMAX was great. If I met any of you there... It was, I mean, thank you for saying hi, and uh, a lot of people wanted their pictures taken with Tyler, which was, <laughs> I don't know if they thought, oh, there's a really tall guy. <laughs> um, but everybody, my, my moral of the story coming away, my biggest impression is that everyone thinks I'm a giant. <laughs> <coughs> people are so surprised to see that I am like, I am truly five feet tall. It's like nobody, I don't know if nobody believed it, nobody knew, but when I, 
<laughs> the first word out of almost everybody's mouth that I met was, you're so tiny, or you're so short, or I can't believe you're, you know, I thought you were tall, or I thought you were big, and like, it's just funny. I've, I've got y'all fooled here, just sitting in front of my computer, I guess. <laughs> you think I'm some tall, lanky type? Nope. Short and squatte. Uh, Red-haired ballerina is neck deep in physics in exam prep, and you have no idea how much this has improved my mood. Yay! <laughs> we can do some dancing, too, if you want. <laughs> Melissa Smith just posted the Emily Noel 83 made me buy it tag on your wall. Oh, my gosh. Am I going to feel bad watching that? I'm kind of concerned. If that if that tag starts to actually go places and <laughs> be a big thing, I'm going to be scared. Oh, my gosh. Good morning, Iowa. West Virginia. Oh, we got a mountain mama here. West Virginia, mountain mama. Can you come to the Sephora in... M E. I I know the store manager. Where exactly are you? No, I've never been to Australia. The one place that I've been to out of the United States is Germany. Yep. That's right. Um, it was fun. My brother's actually there on business right now. Aww. Oh, it's Keenan's birthday? Oh, happy birthday! You share the birthday with my mom. That's awesome. Awesome possum. Um, oh, my... Okay, thank you. Keenan says I'm glowing, but I think it might be my highlight. Um, should I do just... I'll do the face of the day. I put it all in a little basket here. Have I shown you guys my awesome post-its? I found. Tyler goes into staples for some sort of practical need like printer cartridges or something. Here's the thing I come out with. Lip post-its. <laughs> I love that. Okay, foundation I'm wearing is my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous um, shade I have and it is the correct shade for me is Natural Beige. But um, that gives me a very matte look, so that's why I'm thinking any kind of glow I have is from some other products. I put on my erase paste just to take care of some stuffs in here, and then I put on this Age Rewind, and I'm just trying to use it up, you know? It's this light color, and it just gives me some brightness right up on top of the cheeks. Um, oh my gosh, how do we feel about Carrie Underwood being the global ambassador for Alme? Thoughts? Did everybody know that? I believe it just came out like last week. Um, let's just say I keep a very close eye on Carrie Underwood's Instagram. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I think it's great. I've been waiting for her to be like the face of a makeup brand. And you look at Revlon, I feel like Revlon's got so many celebrities. L'Oreal's got so many celebrities. So I think it kind of makes sense for her to be. Um, you know, Almay's still got Kate Hudson as a spokeswoman, but I think it's really cool that Carrie Underwood does that because Carrie Underwood does all her own makeup on tour, which I that makes me love her even more. She, you know, she says she likes to do it. She think it's, thinks it's relaxing before she goes out on stage. And she'll usually have a makeup artist, I guess, do stuff for red carpet occasions and whatnot. But when it's just for a concert, she says she does it herself, and she usually has to be kind of heavy-handed or whatever. Um, but she enjoys that, and I just think that's really cool. She's a, a makeup lover like us. So, um. The reason why this came to mind is because I used my Alme Smart Shade Loose Powder. I think I talked about this, maybe it was on here another time. But this is a really, it's a, the shade Light, and it's a really, really lightweight, um, nice feeling uh, powder. So I just put that on after all the concealing and the foundationing. 
Oh, it's my birthday from Prague, Czech Republic. Awesome. Happy birthday, Veronica. It's a birthday day for many of us. Um, Chelsea likes Carrie Underwood but doesn't really like Alme. Yeah, it kind of makes me want to do like best best and worst of Alme that I've tried, you know, because I've tried some stuff that has not worked for me, but then I've tried some mascaras that are the bomb and I'm not going to lie, this makes me want to go out and snoop around the Alme line a little bit more. <laughs> um, anyways, I'll keep going. I used I used a couple Laura Geller products for my color. I used a little bit of my Bronze and Brighton as a contour. So, that's there. And then I used this gorgeous cream sickle, dream sickle, I'm sorry, dream sickle blush. It's like got swirls of yellow and pink. Um, and then I did my double highlighting that I tend to do with my French Vanilla, which gives you a really nice look right up in here. And then the glow. I used the Cindy Luminizer. This was reviewed recently. Isn't she cute? So this is like a peachy take on Mary Luminizer. Very peachy, um, not quite as shimmery, but really, I mean, it shows when you use it. It's, it's nice. You just got to be careful. Um, don't use too much. What else? Uh, on my eyes, I'm, I busted out a palette that, I, that has been neglected, that I haven't used in a while. Um, where did you find the Almay Loose Powder? Mariah, I found it at Ulta, but I also just saw that my Walmart has like revamped their Almay display and has a bunch of new stuff in it. So, yeah, that's in there. Good morning, Kirsten! <laughs> and yeah, this palette, I just hadn't been using it much, but I love it. I love it. And you probably can't even tell what colors I might be wearing, but I have the pink, um, the bordello shade on the lid. I've got um, gunmetal. So these two are kind of what's going on on the top part. I put uh, gunmetal on the outside. I blended more bordello up into here. This light shade is my highlight. That is skimp. And then under my eye, I used hijack, which is this pretty teal, which I don't know. Can you see it at all? Um, and then I lined inner rim, upper lash line. I used my Estee Lauder, this little nifty double-ended pencil. Excuse me. I'm wearing my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I mentioned on my lips is the Fergie Wet n Wild Vicious Varnish. Vic vicious Varnish. Vicious Varnish. <laughs> uh, street Queen is the shade. So, I, yeah, I feel like kind of very cotton candy up here on my face, and then my bottom is just, I love this shirt. This is just the most comfy, comfy, comfy shirt. It's long-sleeved. It's really soft and stretchy. Um, I got this from, where'd it come from? Ross or TJ Maxx. And it's nice to wear with leggings because it comes down like... Can you even see? It comes down nice and long over over the butt. Just a very comfy around the house kind of shirt. So sorry I've missed some comments now that I've been talking so much. Foundation for mature skin. Um, let's see. Uh, my mom has mature skin in her 60s, and she's a big fan of the Rimmel Lasting Finish. Um, it does have good staying power. It definitely doesn't wear like a mask, you know. It, it stays very, um, I don't know. It's long wearing, but it's not, uh, what am I trying to say here? It doesn't totally get to what like um, a Revlon color stay for oily or combo skin gets like. I don't know. It, it wears well on her. It looks really good. It really evens out her skin. Um, another great one is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Foundation. So, yep. One year ago. Oh. Oh, wow. Glow, thank you so much. That was really nice of you to share that. Um, Glow left a really nice um, comment on, the, on YouTube. And that means, that means a lot. I'm I'm so thrilled. 
so grateful that you're here, that you we've connected, and that you've found the videos. That's awesome. Yes, um, the gal who mentioned Maine but didn't say where. Or do you just end up in Maine and you're instantly out of Sephora? <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to you on the phone. Well, sort of like that, right? Oh, yeah, Sophia got me some cool things that I have not tried yet. So, Sophia, that's going to be like a special thing when I try those <laughs> and report to you on how they work. Because Sophia sent me a package all the way from Portugal, and um, I'm super pumped to to test out the products. Now that I've, I, I feel like I've got so many things like waiting in line. It's like once the Emily Awards are done, I'm going to do this, 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 and the other thing. Linda uh, likes the It Cosmetics Anti Aging Celebration Foundation. That's a powder foundation. If you're into that. Um, and, uh, oh, another thing, Laura Geller, Balance and Brighton. That was another thing that my mom's been into. My Vicious Varnish has a cold feeling at first and an odd smell. Yeah, I can feel the cold. My, mine really just has, like, a makeup smell. Not super strong, but not, like, really unique or, or different. Rimmel Lasting Finish is super oily on me, says Veronica. Okay. Um, so maybe if you're more of a drier skinned type. Yes, I want to get one of those uh, ambient lighting blushes. I would love to try one of those. Uh, oh, awesome. Michelle is a flight attendant and is having trouble with her foundation staying and my eyebrows staying in place because after four flights a day I hate looking like a hot mess yeah because you're running around all the time you don't have time to deal with all that stuff um, yeah and do you feel like I'm not sure what your skin type is Michelle I feel like my skin regardless of what it's going through like down here if I'm in a plane I feel like I get more dry um, so what I might suggest for a good long wearing foundation would be either the CoverGirl Outlast or for even a little bit more coverage, if you're really needing more coverage, Estee Lauder Double Wear looks flawless, lasts so long. I feel like this lasts a long time too, but I think you want to put a great moisturizer underneath. And for being up there, you might want some sort of uh, spray to periodically you know, mist yourself and refresh your makeup, but if you feel like it's completely breaking down, like the this kind of a foundation I think will last really well. Make sure you are setting it with something. Um, oops, I lost a comment. Uh, and her eyebrows. Eyebrows. Um, it looks like you're a blonde. Yes. Um, well, I can tell you from my experience really long wearing brow. I don't know if you've got to totally like redo your brow. Um, you know like every day put in a new eyebrow basically but I am a huge fan of the IT Cosmetics Your Brows But Better. This lasts a really long time and lasts okay she's dry but an oily t-zone. Yeah I think you could handle something like this. Just really moisturize your, moisturize your dry area as well. I think that would work for you. But the IT Cosmetics Your Brows Bit Better goes over and lasts over little scars and problem spots very nicely. Another thing I've recently tried that seems to be super long wearing is the Amazonian Clay from Tarte Waterproof Brow Mousse. A little more high maintenance to put on. Um, not that it's hard, but it's just you got the brush and you got this. This is just really quick, and then it's got the brush on the other end. But um, these would probably be a couple of the longest wearing brow things. I like my e.l.f. eyebrow kit, but if if staying power is your biggest problem, I don't think I would especially recommend it. So, yay! Helping out those flight attendants! Um... Mm. Oh, thank you, Sophie. Um, 
Allison tried the Mally Face Defender, and OMG, can't live without this stuff now. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Mattifier, touch-up, love. Extra dry skin now in the winter. What would help as far as a moisturizer or lotion? Um, JS, JSKA, if you could go to, go to beautybroadcast.net, scroll back to before the Emily Awards stuff. My last post before that is talking about some dry skin skincare that has helped me so much. This is actually the morning moist... Ah! <laughs> My bracelet just snapped off. Um, this is the morning moisturizer I'm using. It's CeraVe and it's the AM. Um, my skin's been pretty dry and this has been great. Also, the big vat, the tub of the CeraVe moisturizing stuff, um, just on like your driest spots, it is a lifesaver. I mean, I, I like to use that before bed. I have like a little dry spot here and put it on there, wake up in the morning. It's like it never happened. <laughs> it's great. So, um, but I I say go to the blog just because you'll see the see all the products I'm talking about and maybe be able to read about what might work better than others. Have you seen the Sephora Z palette? Super cute. No, I have not. Have you tried the Real Technique sponge? No, but I've gotten a lot of questions about it, so I'll, I'll have to try to spot that at Ulta <laughs> next time. Um, which L'Oreal Visible Lift? Um, I I have only tried the one with the pump. I like the one. I prefer the one with the pump, that kind of a style because I wouldn't really use that little connected brush to blend it in anyway. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, mine looks like this, and it is in the shade Natural Buff. That's a very good match for me. That's a nice, it's a nice foundation. It, it's, somebody with oily skin might find that to be too much. So, just FYI. Nothing is more embarrassing than being at work and noticing one of your brows is MIA. <laughs> I find it hard to find too many brow products that aren't red toned. Yes. This is a very neutral one. Like, very topy, you know? Oh, Kirsten says the Real Technique sponge you'll probably want to order online. In-store displays are all picked clean near me. And I think they must have been near mine, too, because I, I don't even remember seeing it once there. <laughs> oh, Casey finally got a makeup room. I just have to share it with my guy's tools. <laughs> it's just the tools. The tools of all kinds are in there. Oh, honey, honey, Tenorio is packing to move. Loves watching. Thank you. What has everyone been using now? who loved the CoverGirl Olay corrector as much as I did. Desperate to find something as good. Help. Okay, Kimberly's talking about this thing. Did a bunch of people love this? I got one, like, shortly before they completely went away. And, um... Now they're nowhere to be found anymore. And I know, like, the coverage was nice. Nice finish. Um... Anybody have any ideas on what's similar to that? Because I've tried something called Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer from NYX, but it's definitely drier than, than uh, that one. I'll tell you what's amazing, though. I finally picked this up, Estee Lauder Double Wear the Cream Concealer. This is very good coverage. I don't, I mean, granted it's a lot pricier than the CoverGirl, right? But it really covers well. And it is a similar texture. So, um, what is your mom's favorite foundation? It would be, I'm going to double check with her. Wait, no, it would be because I got her a backup of it, I'm pretty sure. It's the Rimmel Lasting Finish. 
it's in a tube, like a squeezy tube. Let's see if I have one handy. Okay, I don't. Um, but it's, she's a fan of the Rimmel Lasting Finish, and she sometimes, what was her thing? Mixing that in with a moisturizer sometimes? Because um, I don't think she needs a ton of coverage, but that has good staying power. And then um, she will also sometimes use the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten on top of that. So I need to double check with her and make sure she's still using all that same stuff. But that has been um, the thing that she's used for the longest time. <laughs> I know, another Estee Lauder Double Wear product. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Like, I, I never had this. I mean, David had kind of told me when these were first coming out. Like, it, he was on the inside circle of knowing, I guess. And I was so glad to finally pick it up. It's a really nice coverage creamy concealer. I just wish they made salmon. They had a salmon color in that. Oh, Finland's in the house. Really? Did I miss it? Oh, yeah. Jen is here. What's... <coughs> Why am I coughing? Okay. What's up, Finland? Come on, come on. What's up, Finland? <coughs> yeah. Finland hasn't been here lately, so we haven't sung the song. I couldn't sing it when Kristen was here because nobody from Finland was here. Uh, Jamie says, do you have any suggestions for editing videos on a PC? Um, also, would love to see a video on how you film yours. Well, um, Jamie, I have a video called How I Shoot Videos, or How I Make Videos. And I did it a couple years ago, but I'm still using pretty much all the same equipment, same editing software and everything from that. But I have edited on a Mac for a long time now. And I use iMovie, but PC, when I was on a PC, it was like I had the crummiest editing stuff. Like, it was not good. So, I, <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure what, what to tell you is best because I just, I don't even remember what the thing I used was called, but it was not that good. Oh, Monique's here. Hey, Monique. Good morning, Kelly. Oh, this sugar cookie EOS style lip balm from Walgreens? <laughs> uh, Danielle, you are right on. This one, this is a sugar cookie one. I found it in a tub near the checkout. And it's one of those wannabe EOS lip balms from the it says well at it says well at Walgreens on it. And this really does smell like my mom's sugar cookies. So if you can snag one of those, you won't be sorry. <laughs> mm. um, has anyone tried or liked the Olay cream foundation that goes with that concealer that's swirled with the white Olay stuff? Um, Miss Crystal Makeup loves that one, and it looks beautiful on her. If you've seen, um, she's done sometime recently like a get ready with me and she showed her application with that and it looks really nice on her. Um, I haven't loved the staying power of that one but it may have been you know in my oilier areas most likely. Every time I do my makeup, I narrate a video like I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's Carla says that. Carla, a lot of people tell me that. A lot of people tell me they do that, which I think is kind of fun. Um, I have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Do you think that's good for mature skin? I just find it quite Lumi, LOL. <laughs> I use the Laura Mercier powder. Um, I think that could be good for mature skin because it, it doesn't have sparkle, you know. It's not like Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. So I like that one. I think, um, yeah, if you're finding it to be a bit too luminous, just 
have a good powder that you can maybe set some extra shiny areas with because you don't really want like the tip of your nose to be completely like glowing to the world <laughs> because you've got a luminous foundation on but Are you a praying type? Yes. I lost my job after only two months. Now I have to scramble to find another. Um, that's from Blimey. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I will most definitely. I, I like to hear what you guys are, are doing and, and needing some positive, positive encouragement for. So I, I certainly hope you can come up with something that you enjoy or something just in the meantime to get you by. I'm uh, totally. Shout out to Alina. Hi, Alina. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm missing some, some comments. I'm trying to catch everything I can that I haven't seen. Oh, Courtney had something to throw out to you guys, that the Neutrogena Skin Clearing is great for oily skin. She says, better than color, stay for me. I used that way back in high school, that skin clearing foundation. I think it has the salicylic acid in it. Uh, we've talked so much about foundation-y stuff today, haven't we? It's crazy. Um, oh, I've got an, a... My new, today's like express video will probably go up shortly after I get off of here because I uploaded it early, early this morning, and I'll just kind of make sure I've got all my info in there. But it's on some new um, eyelashes from Revlon. Oh, Pez used the Olay Swirly stuff with the Elf Stipple Brush. Bond says, jobless for a few days now. The agency I work for closed down and ran away with the money. Oh, my gosh. That sounds like a news story. <laughs> Yikes. And um, Monique's been working on her channel. Super excited because she got a, a new camera for her birthday and Christmas HD. Good for you. I tell you, HD. Changes everything. <laughs> and Elizabeth picked up some bronzed and chic from Revlon. 350. I think those may be discontinued soon, she says. Yeah, and I, I don't know why they would discontinue those. Why would they discontinue these palettes? This is such a good bronzer. You know? Such a good bronzer. Why? Sometimes I feel like the things I like get discontinued. Hi, Chrissy. What's up, Chrissy? Yes, uh, Real Techniques brushes. I think there have been certain ones that I've really, um, really kind of fallen into for certain specific needs, you know. Um, I, I use a big mix of brushes, it seems, and I'll, I'll definitely be talking brushes in the finale video, but, like, I've got a blog post all about the Real Technique stuff, but the fine liner brush is pretty darn irreplaceable for me. I've kind of been working this one into my rotation, the stipple brush, and using that for foundation sometimes. Kind of nice. Um... What else was I using? Oh, I like the little setting brush, too. This can be nice for, like, highlighting up in here or just, like, setting your under-eye concealer. We should talk about new food products. <laughs> yeah, food. Mmm. Food. Want to know what I had for dinner last night? A McChicken sandwich. Yes. I like the McChicken, and that was what I had. And I will not apologize. <laughs> uh, um, 
and you know what else I like uh, on the healthy side of things? There are these little things that are shaped like Mickey Mouse faces in the produce section. They're shaped like Mickey Mouse. Okay, let me let me draw this. It may not show up here, but yeah, that's not gonna. Um, what the what? Okay. I just need a blank piece of paper. Okay. All right, now. They look like this. And And in each section, there's something. There's carrots and ranch right here. There's pretzels over here, and there's cheese over here. Or there's apples in here, and like cheese and grapes or something. And they're definitely, they're called foodles. They're called foodles. <laughs> and uh, they're just really good. Like, I love not having to gather it all up for myself, or if you're taking it somewhere, it's like you want to have a healthy snack with you on the go or something. You find it in the produce section, and I just love that. Um, but they're shaped like little Mickey Mouse heads. It's completely a child's thing, but I love that. Um, I've heard NYC has some new stuff. I have not yet seen it. Ooh, cinnamon checks. Oh, I got the vanilla checks recently. That's awesome. But I would love the cinnamon, too. Just wanted to throw this in. I love when you try to tell French words in your videos. <laughs> she speaks French, so she knows all my mistakes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I can't. Linda had some cantaloupe for breakfast. Where's Cupcake? I will find her. Yeah, how wasn't that so rude how we got cut off the last time I was here? Couldn't show Cupcake. We hadn't chipmunked yet. So many things were not accomplished, and this thing cut off and would not let me back, and I had to, like, download some sort of update. It was lame. Hummus cups with pretzels. Courtney, I've seen it at pretty much any grocery store, like um, the Walmart grocery section has it. And, um, they're called Foodles because on the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse show, Mickey always calls Oh Toodles, and it's the Mickey moniker. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I, I love you guys. I love that you can like spring in with that information just when we need it. Um, Jenna, Jenna, my Finland beauty, um, can do you have NYX? Can you get the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray? Because this is this is my must-have setting spray. I just used some today, right before this, actually. Ah, oh, so good. Oh, don't get in my coffee though. <laughs> I don't need to set my coffee. Angry Birds graham crackers. Sometimes I feel like I like little kid food a lot. Like the Kraft macaroni and cheese, applesauce, hot dogs. Oh, yeah, Dutch Strawberry's got it too. It's named after Toodles, the Mickey computer on the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. <laughs> Tips for applying nail polish. Um... My mom always said that you try to use as few strokes as you can. Like, it should be, I guess, ideally, one stroke down the middle and one on each side. And that should give you an even application of your nail polish. I'm pretty sure it was my mom who told me that a long time ago. Um, so, it's easiest with those nice wide brushes that are out there. Um, spoiler alert. Emily Awards today, but I love this complete salon manicure. This is what I had on my nails before. It's a shade called Punch Drunk, and this has that nice wide brush, so it's very easily to do the three sweeps with it. Nice and wide, and it's kind of tapered, so it really evenly applies the polish. 
They now make applesauce in squeezable packages. Yep. Love. On the go. Oh, Jody says don't go all the way to the cuticle. See, I can't control it. Uh, Dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. That sounds awesome. Yeah, Jenna, when you go to New York, find this. This is be like, I don't know, 4 or $5 maybe? Definitely worth it. It's, ni it's a nice little refresher, too. You don't just have to use it like after you put your makeup on. Um, I used to cut up hot dogs in Kraft Mac and Cheese. Chocolate-covered strawberries and champagne. That sounds good, Sarah. Hey, it might make your coffee last longer. <laughs> oh, thank you. Waiting for the Emily Awards finale. 5 o'clock p.m. Central Time today. I'm so excited for you to see it. I can't wait to see your reactions. Like, I... I hope you're as excited about it as I am. <laughs> and if you're not, I'll be excited enough for the both of us, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, man, eating blueberry pancakes and drinking hot coffee on this very cold day. Heather, that sounds delightful. Curling wands that can be found at Target. Um, Remington Tea Studio Pearl. Do they still make them? They're light pink and, like, black, dark gray on the handle. And they're a little bit cone-shaped. And there's a skinny one and a wider one. The wider one paired with that Paul Mitchell hot off the press. I mean, it actually lasts for me. Waves that last. A first of my life. A can of Hormel chili with mac and cheese all mixed together. Whoa. Oh! Oh! Kirsten just talked about the NYX Dewy Finish Spray in her most recent What I Thought on Stuff I Bought video. That's an awesome title, by the way. Um, <laughs> what's everybody having for snacks for the Super Bowl? Should we talk about that? Are we all watching the Super Bowl? Because I will be. I'll be watching and enjoying the commercials and everything. Um, I'm not sure what I want to have. I was thinking about making a big pot of chili in the crock pot. And uh, maybe doing some kind of chili cheese thing. I don't know. But chili sounds great to me. Uh, you know what? I just want a mozzarella stick right now. I'm, I, that's... <laughs> I don't know what else. Um, one year I, I tried the, the Velveeta and the can of Rotel. And I had cheese for forever. But that was really good. I don't know when the fails of 2013 is coming exactly. I feel like I need to find more. What's the best thing you can do to make your skin look really nice and radiant without using any products? Um, drinking lots of water. I mean, I do think it helps. If you're dehydrated, your skin truly looks differently from when you're really well hydrated. Uh, Melly Mel says hamburgers and margaritas, hummus and chips, beer, beer, and more beer. Hi, Gail from Georgia. We're eating sliders. Um, oh, my gosh, so many things came flooding in. Spinach and artichoke dip. Wanted to try making a layered dip. Ooh, that'd be good. Maybe I want to do that. Like with the guac and the sour cream and refried beans or something. Um, Hormel cracker sets with the meat and cheese. Making potato skins. Oh, my gosh. Ugh, I'm so hungry right now. Uh, <laughs> anyone else feeling sick like me, says L. At least I think it's not the flu that's spreading all over the world, but just a normal cold that I catch every winter. Oh, I hope you feel better. Maybe you just need to get yourself some good junk food. <laughs> Hormel chili, no beans, and cream cheese. Best dip ever. 
Hormel chili, no beans, with the cream cheese. Now, are you do you pour it over like a brick of cream cheese, or do you just mix it all together? It's like a creamy chili. Oh, I, I like I like where you're going with that, Miss Kristen. <laughs> chili, cream cheese. It's simple. It's two ingredients. Oh man, you know what I like putting in my chili to make it really, really good? Uh, Fritos. Mix them in. Fritos will not turn to total mush, but they'll be softened just slightly. Oh, jalapeno popper dip? Yum! I made some co cool little jalapeno popper pinwheels with, it was like cream cheese and little chopped up green chilies and some other stuff mixed in. And then you laid out crescent rolls and you rolled it up and you cut them and you baked them. And it was so good. I brought them to uh, a party mm, a couple years, last year maybe. Eating clean can... <laughs> in the midst of all this, Melly Mel says, eating very clean can make your skin look really radiant. <laughs> I don't know about that method, Melly Mel. Tell me more. <laughs> No, I, I tried to eat good a lot of a lot of the days out of the week, but let's just say Super Bowl is one of those occasions when, uh, yeah, all bets are off. Jody says, don't smoke or tanning bed for good skin. Nice skin without products. Wendy says, water, regular exercise, fresh air. Ugh. When are you coming to Nashville again? I don't know. I I've, I've not planned a the next Nashville visit, but it's very close. It'd be fun to have like a Nashville meetup down on Broadway or something, you know, down there in one of those fun places where there's live music and stuff. Uh, that could be a really fun time. <laughs> Bloody Mary's bacon cheese ranch dip. Yeah, everybody needs a good dip. Okay, cream cheese, this is from Heidi. Cream cheese in the bottom of a pie dish, then a layer of chili, then a shredded Mexican cheese blend broiled with chips. Hmm, that sounds good. Pigs in a blanket and chili. Plans for Valentine's Day. I don't know. I do not know what I'm going to be doing. Hopefully something with Tyler. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm just, like, reading all these delicious things that you guys are discussing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Super Bowl. Oh, my gosh. Put frozen meatballs, grape, jelly, and chili sauce in the crock pot. Sweet and spicy meatballs. Oh, cool! You know, Allison, I did something like that once with meat or uh, little Smokies, and I did uh, it was barbecue sauce and apricot jam or preserves or whatever, and it was really good. It was sweet, spicy, barbecuey. That was good. I have one of the big, uh, well, standard size crock pots, and then I've got one of the little guys, so. I should, yes, I should grab Cupcake, because you guys haven't seen her in a while, except on the Emily Awards, which, will she be on there? To, yeah, she'll be on there tonight, too. BRB. Where's the bean? Sorry, everybody. Hi, 
she was laying on my really fluffy robe, which has now become her robe, in the other bathroom. Baker, are you are you angry at me? Look at them feet. How you doing, sweetheart? She says it's not a wet food day. I got awoken from my nap. Now I gotta be on camera again. All right, I'll let you go. <laughs> what a diva! Um, oh, Anne says she's got a brilliant link for nail polish application, and it changed her nail polish world forever. She's going to see if she can find it. Uh, hopefully she puts it here in the comments section so you guys can see it. Cool. Sorry. I was away for a bit, and now I'm back. Oh, what are we talking about here? Celebrities without makeup? Yep. We're all, everybody's a real human being, aren't we? All us normal people and all those superstars. This is random, but I really want a caramel roll. Taser. I would like that too. Meatballs with grape jelly and cocktail sauce. Rippies in Nashville. That's what, I've been there. I like that place. I I think I had some good wings there at one point. My friend and I, Serena says my best friend and I are getting matching wrist tattoos in a few weeks. Do you have a design picked out? Or is it just going to still still undecided? Mm. Oh, Sophia's making a strawberry banana green smoothie for her mid-afternoon snack and is going to take one for her boyfriend at work. How sweet! She says it's so good and energizing. Good morning, South Carolina! Olivia's got her tardy slip. Sweet. Yeah, new NYC products. I am going to be looking for them. Too Faced Bulletproof Brows, yes. Yep, yep. <laughs> we haven't chipmunked yet either, and I was looking through some old pictures, and I found a whole string of photos, group pictures, where I had people chipmunking. I thought it would be so fun to show those to you guys sometime. <laughs> That's the chipmunk. This is what you should do to try to photobomb other people with your chipmunky. You do that. And some of you are at work, so you don't want too many people to see what you're doing, right? And judge you. Quickly. Quick but effective. Oh, great point here. Heidi says she runs a vaporizer to keep moisture in the air for her skin. Makes a huge difference. That was one of the practical gifts that I asked for for Christmas from Tyler. A vaporizer. It's good. Makes a big difference. Casey's getting two Jeeps tattooed on her back soon. Do you have any tattoos? Yes, I have one small tattoo. One small pink megaphone. <laughs> it, uh, it hurt. But not as bad as you might think. Oh, uh, Raina's got a uh, fifth anniversary coming up on March 7th. That's exciting. Oh, thank you. Thanks for letting me keep you company while you do your makeup. It's 8.07 and a great way to um, get ready for it with her makeup. Yeah, when you've got heat pumping throughout your house nonstop, it's really nice to have the uh, humidifier or vaporizer or whatever. 
think mine's technically called a humidifier. I got it off a of QVC. Or uh, Tyler got it off a of QVC. Um... Uh, newest first. Sorry, I missed some things because something's stuck. Something stuck. Surprise, I have a tattoo? Apparently, Courtney didn't see the 25 things you don't know about me video on my vlog channel. <laughs> you know, college. You'll have that, right? Um, <laughs> what was, I, I had something makeup related to mention. Mm. See, I set some things out that I don't want to forget to talk about, and then I move stuff around, and I don't see it anymore. Mm. Oh, this was uh, something Kristen gave me for my birthday, and this worked really well for me. This is the Sephora, the X, or X, the system, Formula X. And it has, a, it says cleanse, base coat, your color, like she was able to pick this color for me and pop it in, and then the shine. And this lasted for um, a week and probably five or six days with just minor chippage around my tips, so really excited. Um, I think the question will be, can I sub in any nail polish and get the same effect? Right? Can I put like any random nail polish with these things and still get super long wearing? And it was also, these steps didn't take a long time to dry and uh, it was really, really shiny. It was like a, a strange gel type of shiny. It was really nice. So I wanted to update you on that because I don't have any nail polish on right now, but I was going to, I may still do a, like a review on that. Oh, you're welcome, Jennifer. Wendy keeps a kettle with water on top of the wood stove to put moisture back in the air. Jenna's wondering about tangle teasers and if they're worth the hype. I think YouTube froze. I don't know. All I know is I want like 10 different kinds of dip that people have mentioned. Oh yeah, chipmunking in New Jersey. I've not tried Catrice Cosmetics, but I looked when I was in Germany and none of the stores I went to had it. I was sad because so many people told me to look for it. Veronica's excited for ice hockey this year. Is anybody excited to watch the Olympics? When do those start exactly? I'm kind of excited for them. Um, Linda's wearing the Revlon scented nail polish in mint gelato. It's really strong fragrance, but smells good, she says. <laughs> new Rimmel Stay Matte stuff. Um, the only Stay Matte that I've used is this. This is amazing coverage. Really nice coverage. Um, pretty good staying power, too. I've, I've actually liked this quite a bit. It's so different from the old Stay Matte, though. It's like a completely different product. Um, do you remember when Stay Matte was in kind of a squattier a little bit flattened out too, about yay tall. Um, and it was just like a normal liquid foundation. This is more mousse-like. It's like a little bit thick, really good coverage. Um, I don't feel like I'm testing it on my skin in a time when, like I would love to use this right in the middle of summer and then review it. But I'll probably review it before then. Because I still do get kind of oily in here, but I love that the, the colors are the same, like soft beige is my shade in Rimmel Foundations, and it continues to be in this. Anybody see that? It says Stay Matte. So overall, I mean, 
Wars. Liking that so far. Starts on the 6th of February. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Sophia gave me a Catrice product. <laughs> it's this. It's the Infinite Shine Lip Gloss. Stand by. I can't review it. <laughs> but I've got to keep this with my other stuff. So when I talk about this, I want it to stay together. But Suggestions to combat static electricity. Uh... Never fails to just get a little lotion on your hands and run it through your hair. I don't know. That works well. I also like that when replenishing mist. That seems to get things under control too. Pick for drugstore under eye concealer skin tone. Um, uh... Under eye concealer. I mean, I just have a concealers sort of category, um, but I do have a drugstore concealer that I think is great for under eyes, and it did win an Emily Award, and it was the Pixie. Love this correction concentrate, brightening peach. Brightening peach. Awesome. Essence videos coming soon. No, maybe. Um, she says no, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe. I've got a ton of essence. I feel like there was a time when somebody might have asked me that and I'd say, oh, I just don't, haven't tried enough. But now I feel like I've tried a ton of essence. It helps having an Ulta in your town. <laughs> so, yeah, I should do that. A couple of the things that will probably come soonest after um, the Emily Awards wrap-up will be a haul of some sort, like eye mats and possibly miscellaneous. And then um, I want to do the Color Lovers video on Radiant Orchid stuff. Uh, Casey says, the new Rimmel didn't work for me. I am oily, but it made my skin look really, really dry. It was bad. I was so sad. Might have been too thick for her. You should close your eyes and pick a few things from your makeup. See what you pick. Like, spin around. <laughs> Would you like me to? I can. I heard the stay matte was horrible for dry skin. Oh, yeah. This would be probably, I mean, if you put this on really dry skin, it would cling to patches probably like none of the. Okay. I'm going to try this. Um, I'm going to close my eyes. Okay, close my eyes. I'm going to make sure I can do a full spin here. And I'll just reach in and grab a few things. <laughs> See what I grab. Mm -hmm. Closed. Get in here. Okay, still closed. What is this? What drawer am I in? Wow. Um, I know there's something over here. And, and okay, I pulled out a few things. See what I did. Oh man, I got out one of these plump potions from Physician's Formula. It's like a really, you really feel it. It's like a really stingy lip plumper type thing. And it's in Pink Crystal Potion. Have you ever tried these? They, you really feel it. They're a nice glossy gloss, but they're kind of sticky and thick. Um, the blush... I picked up one of my Ioni blushes in Miss Bliss. These are great dollar store blushes. I don't know if you guys wanted me to review or just say what I made out, but um, this is a, it's a really similar blush to NYX Mocha. But if you have a Fred Super Dollar near you, um, you can find this for like two bucks. It's great. 
Uh, I grabbed an infallible shadow and amber rush. Yeah, yeah, rose gold in the house. Beautiful. Beauty. And then I, I picked up bare minerals well rested. Was that fun? <laughs> Did anybody enjoy that? <laughs> oh, Raina's heading out for a Mexican lunch. You enjoy yourself, Raina. Thank you for stopping by. And um, I hope you enjoyed this game of spin around the makeup room. Is that what we'll call it from here on out? I don't know. What drawer did it take this out of? Yep. That's fun. Man, I reached into the blush drawer and I thought it was in some kind of foreign land. That actually doesn't go there. Okay. Um, if you love full out full house, watch this. Have mercy. It's on the tweet chat, there's a link. <laughs> I would click it, but my computer might go into a tailspin. What's our hashtag of the week? Super Bowl snacks? Snacker Bowl? <laughs> I think that's what it's going to be for me. It's going to be Snacker Bowl. Um, you should make that a makeup challenge, like create a look with what you randomly chose. That might be fun to do on here sometime, like start the broadcast with a random pulling things out so you guys could be guaranteed that I was just randomly doing it and then put something together with it. What balm palette do you think is better, the neutral one or the new Balm Voyage? I like Balm Voyage a lot. It's got big shadows, it's got a good variety, but... If I'm being honest with myself, um, I love Nude Tude. Nude Tude just really does it for me. I mean, it's got perfect dark matte shades. It's got some cool, like, kind of mid-tone colors. Um, yeah, I, w I would say Nude Tude is, would be Balm Voyage for me. Personally, but if you want more fun colors, like random fun colors, like a yellow and a random teal, dark teal, um, then you might go for that. I like spin around the makeup room. <laughs> Maybe pick a random drawer. Yeah, hashtag spin around the makeup room. Okay. Um, pick a random drawer and show us the whole drawer. Okay. What drawers can I... Not every drawer totally pulls out. But these... Do these all? These... These do. Anything up in here does. So I'm just going to cover my eyes. And... This one. Ooh! Okay, this drawer is red lip gloss. Red or like deeper berry lip glosses. We could sit here all day if I were to show you all of them, but I could pull out some highlights. This was an Emily Award winner, this Ruby Slippers from It Cosmetics. Um, what else cool is in here? Oh, I got one of these on uh, when Laura Mercier was on Hot Look, and it's a lip glaze in Lotus Bloom. It's very pretty. Just like a little pan of, of lip product. That's cool. Um, if you're all excited about Carrie Underwood being a spokeswoman for Almay and you're wanting to buy something from Almay, um, I like these liquid lip balms, particularly the Apple a Day is probably my favorite that I have. I only have a few, but this one's really nice. Very pretty. Um, got one of my Laura Geller color drenched thingies in here, cranberry. Those received a very positive review pre Christmas. Whoa. And I will randomly pull out something else. Oh, 
my mother-in-law gave me this for Christmas in a little coffee cup. And it's a Mary Kay uh, Bold Lip Shine. I don't know if this is limited edition or what. It just says Mary Kay Bold Lip Shine. It's a very pretty red. I actually put this on when I first got it. It's a pretty red lip gloss. Creamy. It's nice. There we go. Spin around the makeup room. I like to color code glosses, shadows, liners. I do as much color coding as I can because if I only arrange things by brand, I will start gravitating toward one brand more than another, and then stuff will get neglected. But if I'm just thinking shade, and then I think, okay, let's look at the drawer of light colored eyeshadows, then I'm going to look at all the brands that are mixed in there, right? And pull out. So if you can spread out your storage that much, um, it really helps you use what you've got, I think. Cool. Well, we will bring this party game back next time. It'd be cool if one of you could be here and spin around the makeup room. Tutorial on the look for the Emily Awards eyes. Great. I plan to because I really want to do a tutorial with the Happy Place palette. That's what I was wearing, and so many people asked. So, yay. Love this. What time is it on your side of the world? It is 10.25 already. 10.25 <gasps> a.m. Oh, my gosh. It just got so windy. Oh, I think it's very unsettling when it gets super windy outside. I'm thinking, like, okay, I don't want anything to fly off the house. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Has this been fun today or what, being back together? Oh, Kirsten's going to rearrange her lip gloss by shade. Awesome. It's just, yeah, it's just strange. Like, you, you'll go for, for different things just because you're thinking more like, okay, I want something red today. Or I want something, you know, nude. And then you're you're glancing through in a from a color mindset. Um, Stephen is uh, there's somebody named Stephen here talking about crowdfunding a BB live event get together. I, but I'm wondering if there's another BB Live tweet chat that he's in. <laughs> I don't know. He says, maybe near Waterloo so we can storm the headquarters. I wonder if Steven is in a different tweet chat and we're just, something else is called BB Live. <laughs> Ladies on the tweet chat, start tweeting Steven and see who he is. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Yay. Well, I, I'm so glad you guys joined in. Um, thank you for taking time out of your morning to, to do this or just have it on while you're doing other stuff and getting ready and whatnot. Um, if you tuned in toward the end, it will um, be up shortly. So you can watch it from the get-go if you wish. Yes. Oop. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Justine says, I have the Balm Jovi already, and it's awesome, but trying to decide what to buy with my $100 gift card to the Balm. Justine, have you tried the Instain blushes? I've got kind of a rediscovered favorite out of that bunch, and it's, it's the one in Houndstooth. This is gorgeous. Lace is pretty. Oh, there's there's so many. You can't go wrong. You cannot miss. I would tell you if you could, but you can't. They're so pretty. Um, very, very pigmented. Like, you, you swatch them, and then that swatch actually stains. That's a powder. It ain't going nowhere. 
Um, and then just the classic blushes like Frat Boy, Cabana Boy, Hot Mama. Um, so, uh, gosh. And then, and then they're coming out with singles, which I don't think are on the site yet. If that interests you, you might want to hold off on your gift card. Um, I don't love the mascaras very much. Brushes are okay, but not amazing. Um, it's got some pretty uh, nail polishes, if you're into that. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's not in the chat. He just happened to be using the hashtag. Oh, Beth is welcoming him to Beauty Broadcast Live. He's tweeting about the Blackberry, says Monique. <laughs> I thought, like, there's a face I don't recognize. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I wonder if my... I've got to see if my trash is blown away. Just a second. It's trash day. Not yet. Not yet, but I will keep... And I on that. <laughs> Neighbor's trash can's still there, too. All right. Oh, Casey had those in-stain blushes in her January faves. Loves the, love them. Yeah, they're just... I mean, don't you feel like you're going to have whatever you have for a long time because it takes so little? Does my Elf Moisture Stick smell funny? No? It smells like, maybe if I smell the, like a side of it, like I haven't been using. It, it, honestly, I can barely smell anything. It smells like nothing. I don't know. Smell like, uh, it's got avocado in there. Smell like an old avocado. <laughs> Oh, Stacy knew what blush I was going to shout out there. Try the new Nivea lip balms. They have color in them. They are so nice. I have the berry one. I know you'll love it. Ooh, cool. Cool, cool. Um, I just bought the Lorac Pro palette, and my white and light pink shades have obvious glitter in them. Uh, yeah, they're supposed to be matte, like completely. There should be no sparkle. You know, I, it would be interesting if you could take that back to where you bought it, show the people, and maybe, like, they could, <laughs> they could explain that for you. Because I, I sounds to me like, yeah, that should not be happening. Those shades should be matte. That's weird. Valerie Stewart says, I feel like Almay has a bad reputation in the makeup world. Not too many products are very loved. You know, I mean, I, I tell you what. Get Up and Grow Mascara, One Coat Triple Effect Mascara are among the best I have ever used. And they're Almay. I mean, I don't feel like people dive into the brand too much. You know, I don't, I don't hear a lot about them, period. But I don't know. But then there's stuff that I've used, like, I didn't really didn't like the CC cream very much at all. I think it's, you know, hopefully they equalize a little bit, you know, like maybe they, they bring out some more things that are really, really awesome. Like, does Alma sell blush? That, that was another question I was thinking about yesterday. Do they even do blushes? If not, why? I don't know. I imagine there will be even more buzz about Alme the longer Carrie Underwood is on the scene as their person. <laughs> I read in an interview, Carrie Underwood says when she has a random Sunday that she doesn't have anything to do, she will just get into her makeup and start playing with it. And I thought, that's cool. I know somebody like that. There might be a mouse in my kitchen, but I don't want to go check. Linda, I would be, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of freaked out for you. 
I'm the type who, if I saw a mouse, I would scream and get on top of the highest ground I could find. <laughs> yeah, and like in those Alme, uh, the liquid lip balms. And I like, uh, I only have one currently of these, but this is a nicely pigmented little trio here. Uh, rose gold, deep dark brown, and like a pearly shade. And then these I don't think they make anymore, but this was nice eyeshadow too. Mm -hmm. um, what do you use as your camera for your live broadcast? Um, this is just the webcam on a MacBook Pro. Miranda Lambert needs to do some makeup. Beautiful. Oh, like be a spokes spokesperson. Yeah, she is beautiful. Yeah. I don't know. I I just had a feeling Carrie Underwood was about to get into something. And lo and behold. Oh, well, thank you guys so much for spending your morning here. I'm going to uh get my today's express video posted and um Edit Tie Day Friday. Make sure I got all my video details up for the Emily Awards video coming tonight at 5. So thank you so much for joining, and I will see you here next week at same time. And we'll do Spin Around the Makeup Room again. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Stacy says they have something on the Alme website for blush, Smart Shade Powder Blush. Nice. Cool. Um, and how do you see the chat? Chat is under the video. How do, oh, how do I see the chat is on a separate window. I have myself and the live thing right over here, and then over here I'm looking at uh, a separate window where I switch between tweet chat and the YouTube comments. So, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, and Monique says, pray I get a house I've been looking at. It's a three-bedroom, which means I get my own makeup studio office room. Yay! I hope that works. Oh, thank you guys so much. Have a great day. I will talk to you later. I will see you momentarily in another video. So love you guys so much. I'm really, really happy you're here today, and I will see you next time. Bye.